What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Common Coder. My name is Josh and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Prettier with Visual Studio Code. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so before we get started, there are a couple prerequisites in order to follow along with this video. The first one is that you'll wanna make sure that you've downloaded and installed Node.js as it's required to install and run Prettier. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you've downloaded and installed Visual Studio Code because this is where we're going to be writing all of our code, testing out the functionality of Prettier and installing the Prettier extension. So if you need help with any of these here, I do have videos on both of these topics, which I'll link down in the description below. So what exactly is Prettier? Well, Prettier is an opinionated code formatter that helps ensure consistent code style across your various projects. Now the opinionated part of this means that Prettier comes with its own set of rules, some of which are overridable through this rules-based customization. And this allows you to overwrite things like indentation, line length, spacing, quote style, so on and so forth. Prettier supports many languages, so whether you're using JavaScript, HTML, CSS, JSON, uh, there's a few others which you can check out on the Prettier documentation, but it's mostly scoped to web development type languages and frameworks. The big benefit of Prettier is actually its automatic formatting capabilities, which we're going to see once we install the Prettier extension for Visual Studio Code. You can also format through the command line, but you'll soon see that using Visual Studio Code with the Prettier extension is going to be the way to go. And finally, it does integrate with most editors. Like I mentioned, Visual Studio Code is one of them, but it does offer support for other editors as well. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the code and learn how to use Prettier. All right, so in order to start working with Prettier, we need to go ahead and create a project to work with. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go into my terminal. I'm going to navigate to my code directory since this is where I like to keep all of my projects. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new project directory using the make dir command. And I'm going to go ahead and call this prettier dash demo. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and CD into that directory. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up this folder in Visual Studio Code by typing code dot. All right. Once VS Code is open, I'm going to go ahead and close the welcome screen. And then I'm going to open my terminal by typing control tilde. So in order to install Prettier into my project, my project first needs to be an NPM based project. And basically, this means it needs to have a package.json file that is used to provide project information and also track the dependencies. So in order to do that, I can type npm init dash y and the dash y flag will just accept all of the defaults for an NPM based project. And so what it'll do is set the name to the name of the project, automatically set it to version one, set the main entry point, which we're not going to use as uh, index.js, sets up a default script test file and some other various information. So you can fill this out if you want to, uh, but we just need this file here in order to start installing dependencies into my project. So before we install Prettier, we wanna go ahead and just take a look at the Prettier documentation which you can find at prettier.io. That will take you to this landing page here, explaining what Prettier is and why you should use it. We already covered some of the reasons why you would wanna use Prettier. Being able to automatically format your code on save is one of them, but it also takes away the need to discuss styles and code reviews because if you have Prettier and a configuration file, everybody should be using the same style by default. So it automatically removes the need for something like that in a code review, for example. It also saves you time and energy because formatting your code is actually incredibly difficult if you have to to do it manually. And so having a tool like Prettier really comes in handy here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on install Prettier. To install it, all we need to do is run npm install. We're gonna save this as a dev dependency. So we use the save dev flag, and then we're gonna go ahead and install Prettier. Now you'll also see that this documentation is using the save exact flag. And basically what this does is it makes sure that the version that you installed is not subject to version drift when you reinstall it or run it through a CI CD pipeline, for example. A lot of times that'll get saved in a package lock.json, which is outside of the scope of this course. But in our case, we don't really care much about that. So I'm just going to install this using the save dev flag. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go back to my VS code and go back to my terminal and type npm install dash dash save dev and then prettier and go ahead and hit enter. So once we have Prettier installed, we can go ahead and test it out here on the package.json file. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just add some extra spacing to some of these properties. And you can see that this looks really bad. Let's go ahead and indent this quite a bit. And you can see this is not what we would want our code to look like, uh, you know, as we're developing and maintaining our code. And so we can use Prettier to help us out here. So the first way we're gonna see is using Prettier in the command line. So Prettier is actually a command line tool that you could use and configure uh, during development 
did. However, what we'll see shortly is that we can download and install the Prettier extension for Visual Studio Code, which will help us format our code in real time. So to run Prettier from the command line, what we could do is go ahead and type npx and then Prettier. We're going to format everything. So we're going to use the dot here. Let's go ahead and run this first and see what the output is. So if we take a look here, we will see that it gives us a representation of what Prettier is going to do. So you can see that in this output here has been formatted uh, through the use of Prettier's opinionated rules. So the defaults that come with Prettier. So what we just saw is a preview of what will happen. If I want to write that out to the file, I can run the same command again. So npx prettier dot and then use the dash dash write flag. And this will automatically format my code and save it. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And you can see that Prettier has formatted my JSON file and saved it for me. So really, really cool that Prettier is able to do that with messy code like we just saw. All right, and to save some time, I went ahead and added a couple extra files so we can see that Prettier is formatting all of the files in our code base. So for example, if we look at this index file here, basically just exports an object and I have a test property and a test function that is being exported from this module. And you can see that we have some indentation problems here. We have some mixed quotes. So this one's using double quotes and this one down here is using single quotes. And then inside of the test JS, which is inside of the source folder, I have another console log using single quotes that says this is another test. So by default, Prettier is going to enforce the double quotes rules and it's also going to take care of the indentation for us. So if I go ahead and run npx prettier dot and then the dash dash write command, when I hit enter, we will see that it went ahead and fixed the single quotes to double quotes. If we go to the index.js, you will see that it fixed the indentation problem and then also fixed the quotation issues. So again, it's very easy to use prettier from the command line to fix and format all of your files. However, we can take this a step further and get some real time feedback inside of Visual Studio Code and even configure it to automatically fix and format our code each and every time we save our files. So let's go ahead and see how that's done. All right, so to install the Prettier extension, what we need to do is go ahead and go over to the extensions panel here in VS Code. And up here in the search box, we're going to look for Prettier. So if we expand this out a little bit, we should see that the very first result is the one that says Prettier dash code formatter. As of the time of this recording, it has 47.7 million downloads and it is officially from Prettier, which we can see with this blue check mark here. So we can click on this and get information about the extension. And one thing that I I want to point out here is that the extension is not prettier. So in order for the extension to work, you need to make sure that you have prettier installed inside of your project. So that's why we spent some time in the beginning setting up prettier. And now we can go ahead and install the extension. So that way we can get better feedback and tooling inside of Visual Studio Code. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is click install. And once it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and close the extension panel window. All right. So the next thing that we want to do once we've installed the prettier extension is go ahead and configure it as our default formatter. So to do that, what we're going to do is go into to our Visual Studio Code settings. On a Mac, that's going to be up here under the code menu, settings and settings. It should be in a similar spot on a Windows machine. And once you're in the settings here, you have an option for user settings and workspace settings. So the user setting will basically get set at the global level. So whenever I'm logged in and whatever project that I'm working on, it will go ahead and use the user setting unless it is overwritten by your workspace. And so that's what this workspace is here. Basically the currently open folder is essentially your workspace. And if you want to overwrite any of the user settings, uh, you can do so inside of this workspace settings here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this at the global level level, even though I might not have Prettier installed in any of my projects, because for the most part, I'm going to want to use Prettier on every single project. And this is kind of just a good reminder uh, to make sure that I install it in whatever projects that I'm working on. So I'm going to set this at the user settings. If you want to apply this only for this particular project, you would set these at the workspace level. So with user selected, I'm going to go ahead and type format. And what should come up towards the top here is this setting for editor default formatter. And as of right now, you can see that this is set to none. So I should be able to click on this and scroll through the various formatters that I have available to me. One of which is this prettier code formatter, which was installed as soon as I installed that prettier extension. And the next thing that I want to do is make sure that my code is always formatted each and every time I save a file. So for that, we're still going to be looking for the format settings. So if I scroll down here, you can see that there's a format on paste. Don't really care about that so much, but what I'm looking for is this format on save. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and check this box and then I can go ahead and exit out of my settings. And now you can see if I go into any file that is auto formatable by Prettier, what will happen when I start making changes. So let's go ahead and make some indentations and then go ahead and mess up the quotes here and use single quotes. And you can see as soon as I hit 
Command S to save the file, it's automatically going to fix and format my file. So you can see that these have been changed back to double quotes and my indentation has been fixed here on my test function. All right, the last thing that we wanna do is see how we can overwrite the default prettier rules to have a little bit more customization on our code. And to do that, what we need to do is create a prettier RC file. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click the new file button. And then this needs to have a dot in front of it. So it's gonna be dot prettier RC. And essentially what this is, is a JSON file with configuration overrides for the various rules that Prettier offers. And so we can take a look at that here inside of the Prettier documentation. If we go down to this configuring Prettier section and click on options, we can see that there are various options that we can turn on or off and overwrite the defaults. So for example, Prettier is configured by default to use spaces instead of tabs and that width of those spaces is set to two by default. And so what that means is when we run our formatter inside of Prettier, the indentation is set to two spaces. And we can see that here, might be hard to see on the video, but there are two little dots here, each one indicating a space. And so when we run our formatter, it basically sets the indentation for everything to two spaces. So if we want to overwrite that and say, set it to four spaces, we can do that inside of the Prettier RC file. So if we jump back to the documentation, we can see that the API override for this is a property called tab width. So if we go back to our Prettier RC, let's go ahead and set the tab width. And you can see with the extension installed, uh, we're actually getting some feedback here inside of Visual Studio Code telling me all the various properties uh, that I can set here in this Prettier RC file, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and set tab width and I'm gonna set that to if we jump back to my JavaScript file and just go ahead and hit save here again, you can see that the new formatting is automatically taking place and the indentation has now been changed from two to four. All right, if we jump back to the documentation, we can see that we can also change some of the other rules. So let's say if I wanted to use tabs instead of spaces, I can go ahead and go back into my pretty RRC and I'm gonna go ahead and set this to true. And now if I save that, you can see that the Prettier RC file has been updated. And then if I go back into my index and hit save, and now you can see that my file is being formatting using tabs. So if I hover over this, we can see it's got a little arrow here now indicating that it was tabbed over instead of using spaces. However, when using tabs, uh, the tab width for your indentation level doesn't really take effect here. So I can change this to, let's say 15, hit save go back to my index and save it again. And you can see nothing happens here. It keeps the indentation at a single tab. So if you want a little more fine grain control over what your indentation looks like, regardless of how you feel about tabs or spaces, you have a bit more control when you use spaces here uh, instead of tabs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this property since the default is set to false. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to something a little bit more reasonable like four and then go back to my file hit save, and now you can see that the formatting has taken place again. The other thing that I usually like to change here is I like to use single quotes in my JavaScript instead of double quotes. So if I go to Prettier RC again, I'm gonna go ahead and add the single quote property, and I'm gonna set that to true. And now you can see if I go back to my JavaScript file and save the file, this will now be formatted using single quotes instead of double quotes. And so there's not a whole lot of things that you can overwrite here. Uh, the whole idea of Prettier is that it is an opinionated code formatter. It formats a lot of things by default based on the rules that Prettier has set up, but it does give you some control over a few of the rules, such as you know whether or not you wanna support trailing commas, how much space you want around your brackets. And if you look over here on the right-hand side, you can see all of the various rules that you can overwrite and the documentation for each one of these rules. All right, and that is pretty much going to do it for this video on how to use Prettier with Visual Studio Code. As always, thank you so much for coding along with me today. If you like this video and found this information valuable, please leave me a like down below. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're gonna be learning a lot more about web development, including HTML, CSS, JavaScript, associated tooling, and everything else in between. So if that's what you're into, I would love to have you along for the journey. Until next time, be sure to stay curious, never stop learning, and I will see you all in the next video.